that. Just pretend like you guys don't see the fries in the back seat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. We did a Walmart grocery pickup today and I'm early because guess what? I'm going to go in store as always. There were a couple of things that were substituted and I did have one unavailable item. So I'm going to go inside and try to find that. But also I like to just kind of, I don't know, meander through the store to kind of see if there's anything that, you know, you miss on the app. You can't see everything on the app. You can't impulse buy on the app. Well, you kind of can, but you know, the boys are with Jeff this morning and Stevie is with me. So she and I are going to go inside here and walk around Walmart for a few minutes and see what we can find until it's time to pick our groceries up. When we get back home, I do have a meal plan to share with you guys this week. Um, today is New Year's Eve and I've picked up a couple of things to make for tonight as well. And then we'll share with you guys what we picked up to feed our family of five for this week. If you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer. This is Southern Mama Drama. On this channel, I share motherhood and lifestyle vlogs, grocery hauls, and cooking videos. So if that is something that you're interested in, we would love to have you join us here. Just subscribe down below and hit all notifications. out of me. All right, guys, we made it back home in one piece, believe it or not. <laughs> Today is New Year's Eve. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Still got a couple things planned for tonight. We'll talk about that in just a second. But for the meal plan for the upcoming week, Saturday, French bread sloppy joes. Sunday is going to be pizza because I'm not sure if we're going to Jeff's grandmother's yet or not. We always just fill up when we're there. So, I don't ever plan anything big for Sunday nights. I still have that freezer meal that we have not eaten yet. Lord help me. I'm going to get it eaten this week, hopefully. <laughs> Tuesday night, we're going to do spaghetti squash burrito bowls. Wednesday is going to be hobo dinner. If you've never heard of that, I'll try to leave the um, video that I filmed that in, in the iCards right here for you. Uh, it's just a good go-to and it's a good stick to your ribs kind of meal, okay? Thursday, we're going to do clean out the fridge because we're going to probably have a lot of stuff left over from these meals. Um, and then Friday, we'll go out. All right, here is a little overview of the damage for today. And I just want to say that Stevie Kate hung in there like a trooper today. Bless her heart. She has a double ear infection. And I know she doesn't feel good, but she did so good for our shopping trip today. Of course, we weren't in there very, very long. So we needed some more flour tortillas for quesadillas for the boys. And went ahead and picked up some brioche buns. May or may not incorporate some cheeseburgers somewhere because if you just watch my Sam Club, Sam's Club haul, you'll see that I got those Angus beef patties. So, you know, and they're good till January the 18th. So, well, I ordered a loaf of French bread, but I got Italian instead. It's okay. We'll use it. But my idea is to use this for the uh, French bread sloppy joes. I've got some sandwich bread here. Farm fruits and vegetables go this week. <laughs> I should be on Karen's nice list. Okay, so I, yeah, I want to just say, if you're a nice Karen, I'm sorry that your name got a bad rap. Y'all know the good Karens, I love y'all, but the Karens that have something to say, yes. Well, um, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we got some strawberries here. Harrison just about ate a whole thing of strawberries by himself when we went to Aldi's the other day. <laughs> I don't know if that's very good for you. I know fruits and vegetables are good, but I don't know. A whole thing of strawberries? Okay. Here's our spaghetti squash we're going to use for our meal one night, and I've got an 
red onion here. I'm going to use four. Guess what I'm making? <laughs> I'm making a seven layer Mexican dip for New Year's Eve tonight for me because I'm the only one who eat it. I want it. I'm going to make it. Okay. I've got two zucchini here. That's going to go in the spaghetti squash burrito bowls. I've got some navel oranges here. They had the cuties there and that's really what I wanted, but they were like all squishy and nasty feeling. So I went for navel oranges instead. I've got some bananas here. I've got three avocado. What is, oh, I know what that is. That's my flower. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, I got three avocado here for, I don't even know, something. I've got some aroma tomatoes here for my Mexican dip that I'm making green onion for something I can't remember I'm thinking it was probably oh my Mexican dip <laughs> and then we've got some potatoes I needed that for a recipe for one night this week and then carrots also needed that for a recipe oh the potatoes and the carrots were for the hobo dinner that's what that was for and I think that is all of the fruits and vegetables okay let's talk about all the junk food back here because you know that's my favorite part um I saw these they are new funfetti cake donut mix I'm not really sure how to make it not really sure. Well, we're going to figure it out one way or another because that looks really good. I've got some fudge tipped coconut granola bars here. I saw this on my way out and Hayden had asked to do some sugar cookies again and I can't find the cookie icing anymore. I think it's just kind of like a seasonal situation. So we're going to do this instead. I found the Dunkaroos. This is rainbow and marshmallow sugar cookie mix. And look what I got. I got some of the Dunkaroos frosting as well. All right, back here in the back, we've got some pistachios just for snacks and some regular potato chips and some lightly salted tortilla chips. I'm making Jeff buffalo chicken dip for New Year's Eve tonight. And so, you know, that was his request. So we needed some chips for that. Hayden's request was a Jolly Rancher gummy. So I, of course, had to get Harrison one. And our favorite, Cheese It Grooves. We, this is just a have to have here. <laughs> I saw this on the app and I was like, well, we should try that out this week. I couldn't get a hold of my Cheerios Oat Crunch that I really like, but this looks really good. So we're gonna give it a try. It's a chocolate peanut butter Cheerios. For my Mexican dip, I needed some taco seasoning and Courtney, Courtney Danielle, if you aren't unfamiliar with who I'm talking about, over on her channel, she said that this was really good. So I wanted to get it a try. It called for a taco seasoning mix. Also needed some guacamole. So just went ahead and picked this up instead of making my own. I've got two packs of applesauce here. We got strawberry and original. I've got two packs of mac and cheese here for, well, Harrison, of course. But Hayden's actually been eating some of those too. So, and then let's go back just a second. I did go ahead and pick up a couple of salads for myself this week. Trying to behave myself and be good, okay? Um, even though, you know, if you start adding stuff to it, it becomes not so good for you. But anyway, I got a Caesar salad with um, chicken and bacon. And then I got two of the BLT salads. The BLT is actually my favorite. I ran out of my beef better than bouillon, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then I don't know what happened here, but <laughs> I don't know if it just busted upon being thrown in the car or what, but I've got just a, just a, a mess. That's what happened to my avocados. It, that's what happened to my avocado. It had flour all over it. it kind of scared me for just a second, but I think we're okay. I think I'm still gonna use it because I'm pretty sure that it happened on the way home. I went ahead and picked up some more apple cider vinegar. Upon making my potato salad last week, I realized that I was running out of that, so I picked it up. I went ahead and picked up these real, be real bacon pieces. We are currently chicken sitting for a neighbor and she has, um, like a ton of eggs <laughs> rolling in every day. So yesterday I made Hayden and myself an omelet and I put cheese and bacon in it. It was so good. So I figured I'd pick those up and we'll probably have, the boys are off for I think a couple of days this coming week before they go back to school. And so I'm sure Hayden will enjoy having that for breakfast. And not really sure what happened here. <laughs> My cupcakes are sad. They're very sad. Um, the poor fella that was loading my car probably didn't realize he had cupcakes in his hand when he threw them in my car. So, oh well, it's okay. 
the boys will still eat them and everything will be fine. I've got some Hershey Simply Five for chocolate milk. I needed some onion soup mix for one of my recipes this week. And then we didn't have any salad dressings here. And of course, ranch is a staple. I'm, I'm going to need that also to make the buffalo chicken dip. But I went ahead and picked up Caesar just to kind of have another option for salads. I've got Frank's Red Hot here for the buffalo chicken dip that I'm making for Jeff. I went ahead and picked up some black olives. That's going to go in my seven layer Mexican dip this evening. And for the sloppy joes on the French bread, well, Italian bread now, I needed some <laughs> Manwich um, sloppy joe mix. I picked those up and I got two cans of black beans. One of these I need for my Mexican dip. I got quite a bit of food for Stevie this week. She was kind of running a little bit low, so... Wanted to get her stocked back up. I've got some peach and apple oatmeal here. She's really loving oatmeal and some mixed in with some of her foods. So I've got several different kinds of just blend, baby food blends here. And I'm, gonna, I'm also going to tell you that the baby food selection is still not looking all that hot, guys. I got her some of these strawberry rice rusk. She got the blueberry ones last time and she really liked those. So I'm anxious to see how she's gonna like those. And then I picked up some more of these little hearts. They're just the little puff things and the strawberry apple. And she's gonna be trying this for the first time. This I gave this to Harrison a lot whenever he was an infant and he absolutely, he absolutely, he absolutely loved it. <laughs> so this is the Yo Baby um, organic yogurt and it's apple and blueberry. All right, let's talk about the drinks in the back and then we'll proceed with everything else. So I got these little miniature cans. Hayden had asked for some more drinks to put in his refrigerator in his room which i don't really allow him to have food and drinks in there anymore because he just leaves his trash in there but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes um got some more sunny day this is the tangy one this week and then i wanted to try the duncan iced coffee instead of the stoke this week so i picked that up and then of course i'm jumping on the bandwagon with the oat milk i want to see what all y'all are talking about everybody's saying it's good so i got the extra creamy and of course, I got some more Dunkin' Extra Extra. That's my favorite. We got two bottles of Twist Up this week. And then also Hayden had asked for some yoo So I picked those up for him. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that we are obsessed. <laughs> Actually, Hayden really likes these too. So I went ahead and picked up some more this week. So we could share them. I picked up some of this um, already prepared rotisserie chicken. And my idea was to make salads because Mackenzie on her last grocery haul had picked those up to put on her salads. But I think the salads that I got already came with chicken. So <laughs> I'll find something to do with it. <laughs> It was, it was a good idea. <laughs> I got some Colby and Monterey Jacks cheese slices. And then I also went ahead and got some shredded Colby and Monterey Jack. Of course, we ran out of butter from all of the baking we did last <laughs> week. So I needed more of that. And then these popped up on the app as I was getting ready to check out. And I was like, hmm. Okay, I'll take some of that. I got a one pound of bacon. Needed to get that back in the house. And my God, bacon is expensive right now. Um, This was on Ibotta, so I picked it up. We've never tried this Red Baron fully loaded before. Um, This is just the five cheese, so it looks really good. And then um, spaghetti squash veggie spirals. I just got that just to throw in the freezer for whenever and whatever. And I used to eat these all of the time. They're baby Brussels sprouts with butter sauce. Throw those in the freezer. And then mozzarella sticks. I always like to have just kind of little snacky foods in our freezer for, you know, when you just don't know what else you want. And then I picked up some of this broccoli with cheese sauce as a side for something whenever. I don't even know. Just saw it and wanted it. And then I got these with Hayden in mind. My son absolutely loves a cheeseburger. They didn't have just the regular cheeseburger. So I had to get the double one. I'm sure he won't complain. I saw these on my way out of the store and they were on sale for $1. Now they could absolutely be gross. I don't know. I haven't heard any reviews on these, but they're turkey breast, turkey breast nuggets with um, a sweet potato seasoned breading. Okay, we have come to the non-food. The section of my grocery haul that takes all of my money, but you gotta have it. I need some more pine salt. I usually, whenever I'm cleaning um, toilets, I'll pour a little bit of this in just cause it, I don't know, it makes the bathroom smell good. Jeff needed a, a new razor and I had ordered one that had like two or three refill cartridges, but they were out. So they substituted this one and it's only got 
one. So <laughs> I'm probably going to have to get him some more refills pretty soon. I have a calendar on my refrigerator that I like to kind of keep up with or what's going on day to day here in the house. And my marker was kind of going out. So I picked these up for that. We needed a shower line for shower liner for the hall bathroom. And I don't know if you saw in the clip of my opening of the video here, but they have all of their Christmas stuff on sale for 75%. There is not much left at my store, you guys. It was kind of really picked over. I got these just because I really love them. They were, I think, a dollar thirty-seven or something each, but I love them. And we have an artificial tree, so it just makes the house smell like Christmas, and I love it. Okay, I don't know what's happening to all my cups. They have grown legs. So I got eight of these just, you know, cheap Walmart cups. I got four of the little short ones and four of the tall ones. So we'll kind of have some cups around the house. I got Harrison some more of his Baby Dove in the Sensitive. And then I got some Comet with bleach to clean toilets. <laughs> and this is, um, I'm sure, made for a boy mom because I can't live without it now. Lysol, this is the sport one. I've not tried the sport one before, so we'll see. I'm sure it's pretty decent. And then if you've been here a while, you'll know that I buy this toilet bowl cleaner with bleach to clean the grout lines in my bathtub. It just really does a great job once you just kind of let it sit for a little bit. It's in a gel form, so it kind of clings a little better. And then I got some bleach here for laundry. We've got paper towels here, and I've got the wrong ones. This is the big triple roll, so it's like too big for my paper towel roll holder. I always hate when I do that because it takes me like forever to kind of get down to where I can hang it and it be, I have to sit it on my countertop until it's small enough to go on my paper towel holder. <sighs> First world problems, right? Okay, um, we got some toilet paper here for, well, what else do you use that for? I got a new 9 by 13 and I'm not a huge fan of Pioneer Woman just because I'm, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the patterns. I mean, I said it, I'm sorry, don't hate me, but um, this one's really cute and it had a lid to it. About six months ago, Harrison broke one of my 9 by 13s, so I was down to a 1. And you know, any old good old southern mama needs at least two 9x13s. Well, I was down to one 9x13 for, the, I guess, the last six months. Well, I went to go put my 9x13 up last night, and it broke on me. So, I can't live without having at least one. So, we got that one. And I thought it was a pretty good price, like $13 and something. And everybody's talking about how good these diapers were. They were on Ibotta this week for $5 off. So, I figured, hey, why not? We'll try them. We'll give them a try. And then, last but not least, my favorite, my Diet Pepsi. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put this seven layer, what is it actually called? Let's see what it's actually called. It's called seven layer dip recipe. So that's what it looks like. And I'll leave the link to it down in my description box. When I worked at Harris Teeter back, I think I started there, gosh, I was probably like a day over 16 years old, I went to work. And they used to make this and have it in the produce department. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I probably lived off of that back then. All right, so these are all the ingredients that you'll need. You need refried beans. This is like a 31 ounce can. You only need 16 ounces. One cup of, of salsa. One and a half cups of sour cream. I only have probably about a cup there, but I think it's gonna be okay. And then I'm gonna use two tablespoons of taco seasoning here. Where are you? Yes, there you are. <laughs> one cup of guacamole, one and a half cups of, it calls for cheddar cheese, but I have Colby and Monterey Jack back here. One half cup of black olives. I've got two Roma tomatoes that I've diced. And then last but not least, about a third of a cup of green onions diced. First thing we're gonna do is it calls for adding the refried beans and the salsa into a bowl and mixing it together.
Next, you're going to take your guacamole and spread it on top of the refried beans. So I know that I've got less than a cup of a cup and a half. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave my sour cream in its container here. All right, and it asks for you to add in two tablespoons of the taco seasoning. I think we're going to do maybe a teaspoon and a half or so. I mean, not a teaspoon, a tablespoon. About a tablespoon and a half or so. And then we're just going to mix it up. And then we'll just add that to the top as well. All right, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese to the top of that. All right, the next thing is gonna be tomatoes. Up next is your olives. All right, and last but not least is gonna be our green onion. If you don't have one of these mini like chopper things or whatever they're called from Dollar Tree, oh my gosh, they have changed my life. I can clean up messes off of my countertop. I use it to cook. My child is having a fit. It's okay, everything's fine. No, I'm not glistening. I'm literally sweating. It is hot. It's 66 degrees here in North Carolina on the last day of the year. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to wrap up today's video, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If so, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.